Hi everybody, I'm Michael. Today we're going to be talking about how you can propagate your Hartley philodendron in water and then transfer into soil. We're going to, we're going to go through that process for you today. So you all ready to dig in? Sure, sure am. Let's, Let's grow. grow. All right, to propagate the Hartleaf philodendron in water, we have to follow 10 steps. Mm -hmm. And the first one, Mike, I see you say to choose a healthy stem from the mother plant. Yes. You wanna explain further? Yes, these little babies here, we got from our mother plant in our home and I've done a house plant video on how to care for this house plant. And she took off and grew over, grew up and on our wall. And so we decided to propagate her. This is the philodendron heterocetum the Hartley philodendron, and what you need to do is find a healthy segment, at least four inches if you can, and it should have at least two nodes. Nodes? You mean the little bumpy things the on little, the side? The little bumpy things. For us people that Let don't me, know what a node <laughs> is. Let me pull these guys out so you can see. Nodes. Oh my goodness, they have taken off. Oh, she's got Lekka. She's got Lekka. These are considered nodes. Oh, yeah. there goes the Lekka. These are considered nodes. And the area between is called the internode. And you can see here how she just went crazy, crazy with growth right at that node. So, oh, so cool. this, is, this is one of our cuttings. Will you hold this for me, Rachel? Okay. Now, Stephanie, I'm gonna grab this other young lady. Oh, she's done at two nodes. So here's the two, this one, she has rooted at two nodes, you all. So this is what I mentioned about two nodes. And she's taken off. Ooh la la. And this last one, she has also taken off, started growing. This node did not root, but this one did, so she's ready to go. And here you all, she's got new growth coming out here and here. So happy. She's got growth coming out here. And even on Rachel at the very tip, you can see new growth forming here. Be careful of your sister on the roots there. Thank you. Now that we talked about that, all right. We're gonna go back to the process of how you get to this. We're just gonna set these gently down on the table. We don't need to put them in there. Just set them real carefully on the table, you all. The roots are a little sensitive, not too much so, but we just wanna be careful. There we go. We don't wanna give them a haircut. <laughs> oh, which, which I recently had very <laughs> close to the scalp. <laughs> all right, All right, so. the next point, yes. I see you have to make a clean cut very on important. an angle just below the little bumpy part. Yes, you can use this or some pruning shears, which is what I used. You definitely want to hit them with alcohol before you make the cut so you don't put any pathogens into your plant. And that's very important. And you want to cut below the node, the inner node, and just, just an inch or so. You don't have to be you know, scientific about that, but you just want to make sure that you have at least two nodes because that's the part you want to put in the water to help propagate. And next, we talk about removing the lower leaves by the nodes that are going in water. You want to explain that? Mm -hmm. That, <laughs> that is, you don't want the leaves to go in there because they're just going to most likely fall off or they'll rot and they'll decay and they'll rob the water, the nutrients and the oxygen that your plant, your plant needs to generate the new roots. So oh, it's just good. a cleaning up and it's, the plant's going to go through a little bit of shock doing this. So it's good to remove those lower leaves. All right. I'm going to turn it over to Steph who's going to mm. talk about what you're going to need to do this. So I'm familiar, you said it's your propagation items. I see there are five in total. Yep, five. Do you want five. to explain? Why don't you tell everybody, what are the things I put down there? Let's put this on you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's so, the first one? The first one we need is a plastic container. Yeah. Like a two liter bottle. There it is. Oh, thank you, Rachel, showing that. That's a two liter uh, soda bottle that you got to clean out, but we recycle that and we're using that because these, we have let me do a little caveat here. These are giant philodendrons, the, uh, these uh, heart leaves. We got ours years and years ago from, from Fairchild and it took off in our home. Most people have these as house pants and, and hanging baskets. And so these leaves can be smaller in your house plant, but ours is a monster. She's done so well. So we used a larger container. You can use another one. You can use just something you have around the house, but we like to recycle stuff. So we use, uh, that, that's what we, you will need for one of your items to do the water propagation. Yes. The next one is a box coat, like mm -hmm. this one here. That's right, no. And you use this to cut away the top of 
your plastic container, your two liter, if you're using that. The next one is water that can set up for two days. And that's going to get rid of the extra gases or, I mean, chlorine and other elements in the water that you don't necessarily want to have in the water for your propagation. Amy, that water can is so pretty. Where'd you get it? Oh, I, I don't remember. It was somebody I don't remember his name of. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder who loves you. And you guys, it's Amazing. pouring outside. Amy, it's, oh, I'm I sorry. ADHD. It is pouring outside, you guys. It's good for our plane. It's good, right? Oh my God. Sorry. Uh, All right, next, right, next one, next Stephanie. One is, is an optional one, but you can include Lekka. Which is? Little pebbles. Little pebbles. You can't eat them like cocoa pebbles. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a light aggregate. It's a light clay aggregate. And it's we love using it. We grow Hoyas in this plant. We grow many orchids can be grown in that. We like to use that in our water, can, in our watering um, device here that we've created, the, the LECA in the water, we found that the LECA has a lot of surface area and, and the, the roots tend to gravitate towards them when they're, they're shooting out of the, uh, the plant when it's going through the process. And we, and we think that may help it at that surface area, but it also acts as a stabilizer. This, we probably should have added more LECA because these guys were such beasts, they wobbled a little bit, but we found that, that it, the plants tend to root pretty well when we mix the water and the LECA in there. So you don't have to do that, It'll, she'll root fine, but we like to add LECA into ours. And then the last one is opaque outer container. That's this one. That we do because we don't want sunlight or any bright light from a home as you're getting the plant rooted to start building up algae because algae can rob the water of the nutrients and the oxygen that the plant needs to root. So that's what we like. We like to do that to keep algae growth down. And we like the clear container on the inside so you can see the growth as your plant is, is being rooted. And All right, that's it, Rachel. Oh, now over to your sister. Okay, so step the next five. step is to prepare the plastic bottle for the cutting. So how do you do that? So with us, we just cut the, cut the thing with a box cutter halfway around. That's super simple, that's five. And always make sure an adult does that or a responsible person, so. So not we want to keep our fingers. <laughs> yes. At least I do. Yes. Okay, so next step is to place the stem in a clean plastic jar of water. Right, and we just briefly talked about that. That's what we talked about here, and that's with the LECA. So the, you, put, you, you put these guys in there, like you saw in our opening, and we'll, that rolls into the next one, Rach, right? You want to put it in an area so that you guys, these guys can start to what? To grow roots. Grow roots. And so you put it in, a, in an area where it doesn't get a lot of, uh, it, you can get some nice, indir not indirect light, bright light, but you don't want it on a sunny windowsill or something like that. You just want to have an area where she gets some, some medium light so that she can just hang out there and start putting the energy into putting out new roots. And then step number eight is to change out the water every couple of days. Okay. Why do we do that? So you want to change it out every couple of days or a week. We do it, we, we weren't too, too much on every three or four days. You can do it once a week. The more the, the, you don't want to do it every day because you don't want to damage the roots as they're generating. So we like to kind of do it like about once a week or a little bit less. And that helps add new fresh oxygenated water. It gets rid of any algae buildup that may have happened and it helps the process along. But if you do it too much, you can damage the roots because you're constantly pouring the water out and some of the, some of the little new growth, root growth will uh, break off. And then step nine, within a few weeks, you should start to see some yes. roots Lovely roots. From the nose. Yes. Or the bumpy things, like the, she says. The, bu <laughs> right. the bumpy things. Yeah, they will, ours took about three weeks to root out. And also she started putting out new growth and she's like, come on guys, I'm ready. I'm ready to do this, put me in some soil. And with that, I think, we're ready to move over into the next step, right? That's right. That's right yeah. That is transferring into soil. All right, so we're flipping our notes around. And now let's see. We're gonna talk about the items. So step, tell me about what items we need for putting into soil and I'll point them out. You need your cutting. Boom, boom, boom. Rach is gonna help me, yep. Soil mix, six parts indoor, two part per light, two part worm casting, one teaspoon this, big, big this micro Yes, micro Yes. A grow pot, 
finger. You pull the green thing out for us, right? There's our grow pot. Mm -hmm. I never knew that was the name of those things. And I didn't realize that you're supposed to keep them when you pop the plant until just recently. Now I know. <laughs> oh my God. My sister, I do love her. What else do we need, Rachel? Uh, still, still. Oh, it's still you. Sorry, staff. It's still your part. What? Dryer sheet. Use dryer sheet. We like to do that. So, Maybe a large oh, opening or pebble. See, we have big openings, so we put the dryer sheet in there. It's not, it's not working as planned. And that and keeps the soil from washing out of the And the last part. one, six and twist tie. Which we have over here. Let's see if I can pick it up for you. Ooh, bouncing act. Nope. Ooh, so we got stakes and it. twist ties. We got stakes and twist ties that we want to use to hold these guys steady when we put them in the new pot mix. All right, your turn, Rachel. What do we do next, Rachel? So when you get started replanting, mm -hmm. the first step we already did is just add the dryer sheet to the pot. Right. And then add a layer of your custom soil mix. Steph, will you add that into there, please? We want one, we want to do one layer because we want to set these. Oh, big layer. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what <laughs> That's all right, we got the little green. All right, hold, only do half of that amount. Yep, bonk, bonk, bonk some of the back in here. Put some off. And I'll put that in. All right, now fist bump the inside like we did before. Yep. In the new pot. Yeah. That flattens it out. And let's show you guys. So what we're doing is we're, we're putting a layer down there so that we can set these guys in. And I'm going to hand this over to Amy. And can you grab this one, Steph? Wait, here, I got it. And we're going to put all three in at the same time. So we're setting them in the pot. We're going to set them in a Mercedes, like an equal space, tr equilateral triangle. And over here, right. Let's go with this. So everyone holds it like that. Yeah, I'll hold these two. Steph, you're gonna... Steph, you, Amy's got those two. You're going to put the soil in on top of that. Hold on a second. I'm going to tip this real quick to the camera so you guys may be able to see that, but hopefully you can. And so you want to have it to the base, and then we're going to add soil on top of the roots. Pretty straightforward. Now, tamp with your fingers and not a fist bump step. There we go. If you don't want to get dirt under your beautiful fingernails, you could add an item of gloves. I'm sorry, Uncle Mike didn't tell you about that part, but we need a little more than we're showing Well, there. yes, we're going to add some more. And you want to give yourself about just yeah, below, right. two inches below the top of the yeah. green container uh, edge, so that when you add water, it doesn't overflow into the outer decorative container. Keep add going. some. Yep, add some more. And another one, another half one, and then tamp it again when you pour that one in and make it even all the way around. You want to level it all the way around. And now, Rachel, you're holding one. I'm going to hold this one. Can you get the water, Rachel, from your mom and water in so that it gets rid of air pockets? And Stephanie, I'm going to ask you to hold this one here that I'm holding, and I'm going to grab. That's good, okay. Rachel. I'm going to grab these stakes now. Now, this is the next step. We're going to put a stake in here, stake over here, and over here. Sometimes you won't need this because ours are monsters, like I mentioned, and so they've been growing like crazy. Uh, so we want to uh, stake them together so they can hang out and start growing without flipping around, tipping over. You don't want it too too tight, Rachel. You want it just enough to keep it snug to the snug to the thing and then to the stake. Because you don't want to choke the plant. And we have one more for mom. Can you put this one around for Amy's? Oh, I'm so excited. This is looking so good. Maybe a little higher. Stephanie, you made a mess. Yeah. Just let everybody know. She's flicking soil everywhere. <laughs> I saw what I was doing it. I'm making it better. Maybe try to. Everyone did it correctly except Amy. So, no, no, let that go because this yeah. one is especially particular. 
uh, rate, sorry, because if you pull this up, she may flick out. So what we need to do is we added water. We're gonna add, you know what? When I look at this, we're a little bit more than sorry. two inches down. We want just a little more soil and then we're gonna finish off a little more watering. That's perfect step, right? And then just level that out. Here, let me help. And add, can have to... add some water, please, Amy. I think he's got it. Boom, ba -dum, boom, 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 boom. I love propagation videos. If you guys haven't noticed, I love doing them. Love them. Is that good? Good, yes. We put a little bit of Bleca actually at the base of this one. So this pot is not sitting in water and that keeps, the, that keeps you know, stagnant water from going back into your plant. So you can, we do that as a little plant hack. You can use this Leca for a lot of different things. We love, we love Leca and you can recycle Leca. You can actually put it in a, a pot on your stove and heat it up until it boils and gets rid of any uh, stuff that has built up on its salts and other things if you've used it a lot. So with muddy, Muddy fingers and everything. I think we touch base on everything on how to uh, propagate a Hartley philodendron. Steph, do you have any questions for me or for the folks on on YouTube who are watching us? No. I, I just want uh, I'll review quickly. Oh, okay. Uh, Amy's going to review tips. So use the sharp knife or shears to make the cut on the stem correct this will help the stem from becoming infected make sure you spray it with alcohol True. remove any leaves or flowers or buds from the oh, stem yes good point propagating i forgot that yes super important because you don't want that the plant that that's starting to do this about a house plant that is starting to send out some flowers you don't want that energy put out into that because you want it to put into putting in roots so you, you it's best to just wait till after a plant flowers uh, or trim those off. Next item is if you live in a cold climate, you can put the jar on a heating pan, uh, yeah. pad set to low, make sure it's low. Yeah. You don't want it to... Yeah, we're not going to have that down yeah. here in South Florida, but for yeah. folks who, who do this from north, different countries and up north, yeah, this is that's a good thing you can uh, use to keep your help, help your plant propagate. Yeah. And then a point you covered is don't overwater too much and make sure you do change the water. So the right amount of water while the, the roots are propagating. Yeah, yeah, you wanna change out the water once a week. And then when you're watering your plant, you don't wanna, when she's in soil, you don't wanna overwater her where the soil is soggy. We, we have perlite in our social mix. She, she likes a loamy mix, but, you, but one thing that we've talked about on, how, on one of our videos, how not to kill a house plant, Overwatering is like surely a, a, a fast track to, to killing a plant. So it's very important that you don't overwater your plants. And we did a whole video on how to take care of her, so you can always check to our channel. And um, Rach, I don't know if you have any thoughts or questions you want to share with folks. I have one of each. Oh. The first, the thought is I can see what I call it, the heart leaf. Oh yeah, isn't that cute. Yeah. And then the second is where would you get Leca for those who've never heard of it? Hydroponic stores have it. You can go online. You can pick it up at, I'm sure, at Amazon, where I've got sometimes. You can, but you can go to hydroponics. And it's just a, a lot. What? Of, Hydro what? Hydroponics Sorry. is a. It's growing in a soilless medium. Hydroponics is growing in water, and there's a whole whole industry about that. And if you all are interested in about hydroponics, let me know, and I can I can uh, look to research and do some videos on that. Amy. Back to you, do you have any questions? No, but if you have questions, make sure you put them in the comments below Yes. and we'll be sure to get back to you. Yes, thanks, thanks make so sure much. Make sure you comment and subscribe. Yes, like thank, and subscribe. thank you all so much. We really appreciate you stopping by to watch these crazy videos we create. And until the next video, bye. Bye. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And tell your friends and family, we post videos weekly. Thanks.